Hi guys, welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about a new app for Windows 11 24H2 that you can use to enable some new modern flyouts for the operating system. And of course, the app is a free one from the Microsoft Store created by Firecube. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to get it and how to use it in order to improve and personalize Windows 11 24H2 if you want it. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, we're gonna have to open up the Microsoft Store because the app is available on the Microsoft Store. You can also find it on GitHub if you're interested about that. You're going to have the link to that in the article below. And in the Microsoft Store, just search for Fluent Flyouts and look for this app with this logo and the creator has to be Firecube Studios. Of course, you can see here more information about the app. It is a fully open source app which has a few interesting features as you can see here such as the calendar, a new brightness slider and so on. So let's see how that looks. I'm going to click on Get to install the app. It should be a really quick install because it's a small app. Now after the app is installed, I'm going to click on open and then I'm going to close the Microsoft Store. First of all, when you open the app, it's going to open up the Fluent Flyout settings, which has a few options. First of all, you have the option to run it on startup and you can select on and you have the three different categories of flyouts, the classic clock flyout, which is turned on by default, calendar, which is also turned on by default, and also the new brightness flyout. As you can see, the app is very, very simple, very easy to use. All you need to do is to install it and you're going to have these new flyouts. So let's check them out. Those three different categories of flouts will be opened up in the system tray. So you can just drag and drop them into the system tray. You can drag and drop one and all of them will be pinned to the system tray. Of course, this will take up a bit of space. So make sure to enable what flout you are interested in. For example, I'm mostly interested in the brightness flyout. Now let's check out the new clock. As you can see, this is a new flout. It has a nice little open animation with the calendar, which you can use the classic clock with the current time and date. And of course, if you click on change date and time settings, the new settings app from Windows 11 will be opened up. So that is linked as well. We also have the calendar section, which is very similar to the one that we have in Windows 11. But I think this is better because it is way more expanded and it shows more information. I'm just going to open the calendar that we have right now in Windows 11. So you can see it is very, very compact right now. And this calendar provides, I think, more information and allows you to see more days in a month. And the overall implementation is pretty well done. I think we have rounded corners, the mic effect which is really nice and finally let's check out the new brightness flyout which is this one and it fully works on my laptop of course you cannot see on the recording but it fully works it also has a nice animation a pulsating animation whenever you're changing the brightness for example if i were to use the pro cut that i have on my laptop of course it fully works and it's pretty well implemented this is an app that is pretty much at the beginning it does not support everything right now it mostly supports laptops at least for this brightness flyout but if fire cube c that people are interested in this app, maybe he will add more functionalities to it. In my opinion, this is a pretty well done app. It includes the calendar alongside with the new clock, the simple calendar flyout, which has a bit more information compared to the calendar that we have in Windows 11. And of course, it includes all the other ways of seeing the date and time yearly, of course, and monthly if you want. Also, the brightness flyout, which has nice animations that you can try out and use mostly on laptops for now, as I've said. Of course, it's a bit different difficult to implement it on any monitor because certain monitors use different hardware to change the resolution, different software and so on. But for now, as the app is right now, open source, completely free on the Microsoft Store, I think it does a pretty good job and it looks really good in my opinion. Of course, as I've said, make sure to open up the Microsoft Store, search for Fluent Flouts in the Microsoft Store, make sure you get the app. Of course, you can also leave a review here if you want to input your feedback to Firecube. So if you want to learn more about this app, you can also check out the article below in the video description. And if you enjoyed this video, video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.